Well, hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of The Holy Post. Oh nice, see? John gets it. He's I'm only right. been here for like three weeks and he like gets it. You know, he can play off of me. I noticed, John, that you got your hair cut. I did. Much like, much like me. I did. And I noticed it's very short on the edges and I have a reason that I get my hair cut very, very short on the edges. I think I... our reason might be the same, Father. Is that? I'm just... Taking a guess. It's My wife was looking at it last night and she was like, you know what, it's time for you to get a haircut. Mm. Did I she think, notice a specific color hair? You know, uh, yes. Oh, isn't Unfortunately. That, isn't that sad, my friends? We have to keep our hair this short to get rid of the grays. You know, it doesn't really get rid of them. It no. just disguises them until it, grow, until it grows back in. The good news for John Travick, my friends, is that that gray hair came long before St. Joe's Catholic this Church is appointment. This so is I can't c claim any credit for that. You can't blame me for that. I can blame my three kids for that, though, because they've he done a lot of He can blame his three kids. Are they sleeping any better these days? Uh, starting to, praise Jesus, but... Um, we just moved Gianna, who's our oldest, who is two and a half. Uh, we just moved her to a big girl bed all by herself in her Ooh. own room. And so she makes her way down maybe two or three times a night. The big girl bed. Yeah. Wow. It's a big what, moment. Big moment in the Travic household. What does a big girl bed look like? Well, it's not a little girl bed. <laughs> I'm not sure what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> we moved her from my crib. <laughs> To a regular bed. Oh, so a crib is considered a little girl bed. Well, kind of. There's like a crib, and then there's another bed, and then there's another bed. And so now she's in the third bed. And that sounds exhausting. Oh, my gosh. I am happily celibate. I was going to say. Yeah. I haven't had any problems sleeping. There you go. Yeah. No, Praise I, Jesus I for you. I Whenever you want a babysit, my uh, kids would love no, to see you. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's a... No if any of you need a babysitter, Father Eric is ready and available to nope, come watch your kids. There's a no babysitting. He just doesn't sitting change zone. diapers. That it's is the just... key. I have already told even my own nieces and nephews, I will watch them when there is no diaper change no needed. Diapers. Because no otherwise, they're sitting in that for a while. Gianna, not Gianna, Gianna even it. knows it. She yeah. knows it. Father Eric mm -hmm. won't change. No, no changing diapers. the diapers. Nope, nope, nope. Not doing that. Yeah. You know, we actually gathered here to talk about a little ministry because... I got to be honest. Um, John has hit the ground running, and there's a lot of awesome things. In the past, what do you what three weeks a month? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. What are you most proud of that you've accomplished in three weeks? Holy! Besides God. making yourself look a little younger because you sh uh, shaved off all the gray. Thank you very much. Um, wow! The last three weeks, we have yeah, we've hit the ground running. It's awesome. It's been incredible. Um, there's so much happening just with youth ministry, young adult ministry, uh, getting ready to create a process for new parishioners to, to walk through as they join our parish, um, working on projects uh, in the basement of the church, getting that ready to go. The lower level is coming um, along, my friends. I was just down there, and they, um, the air conditioning and, and heat, heating, eight, air conditioning, yep. HVAC people. Walls are getting ready to go up. I mean, it's moving. Um, there's just so much life going on right now, and there's so love, much about to go. I love the fact that we have middle school youth ministry. This isn't something that we've had in a little while. Yeah. Um, so middle school youth ministry is coming up this Thursday, and yep. kicks off Thursday night, six to seven fifteen in the community center. And I sent out an email today, and just the amount of people uh, already registering and getting excited to show up, and the kids hearing them excited to come. I was out at the playground yesterday talking to the kids, and they're all coming, excited to bring their friends. It's awesome. It's just it's there's a buzz about it and our coordinator for it jacob peters uh who is a freshman over at lures university he's just phenomenal and he's gonna do a great job with our kids oh yeah grow in their relationship with christ one another just so excited for that yeah 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 the kids have really kind of received him well yeah and then in a few weeks uh this now this really gets me nervous okay because john already communicated to me, uh, Haley Augustiniak, our uh, coordinator of youth ministry, and his idea for me on Life Team kickoff night, which is Sunday, September 26th. Yep. And it's going to involve a lot of mess, a lot of water, a lot of mess. A lot of, a lot of slime. Slime. Lovely things. Father Eric may have a squirt gun with slime ready to ask you a question. So just brush up, be ready. 
Because whatever question he asks you, if you get it wrong, you may get blasted with some lovely slime. So mm. just, just isn't just that fun? Be ready. But of course, I won't get any, get any on me. Of correct? course, not. that no. would be sinful, and then everybody not. have to go to confession. Nobody would attack the priest with that. No, 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 no. Can't, can't that, ever but... have that. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, no, it's been awesome. Uh, and John has just fit in well with the staff and and all those good things, and you know, so it's 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 nice to continue to to build our staff and our team, and uh, to see so many great things happening. You know, yeah. uh, one big thing that's happening, and and she's not going to say this because she's filming right now, but Maggie Vertelbeck uh, is getting ready with uh, <laughs> those beautiful hands. Uh, she is getting ready with RCIA, and what are we up to? What fourteen? 15. 15 catechumens and candidates for RCIA. I mean, 15 people like have signed up for that. So again, if you know you are uh, not Catholic and are kind of interested, um, or you know if you know somebody, I mean, the best thing that we can do as Catholics is invite somebody. Yeah. You know, we oftentimes, Catholics are awful at this. We're, we just, we don't want to talk about our faith with anyone. Um, you know, we're just all happy being all Jesus-y inside. But again, if we don't share it, go make disciples of all nations, Jesus yeah. said, right? You know, he didn't say just keep it to yourself. And so I would venture to say a lot of these 15 people that are doing it, it's because somebody went up and said, you'd be a good Catholic. Have you ever thought of that? Not in some like hard, you know, kind of, you know, proselytizing type of way, but like you'd be a good Catholic, yeah. you know? And this isn't like one of those things where you just like, you, you, you go in and you just get spit out of Catholic. Like it's not like the, you know, it, it's a process, and some people even go through and go, I don't, I don't know that this is for me right now. Yeah. Some people have co come in and out of RCIA two, three times yeah. because they want to discern it well. I mean, we, and we even think about when we invite somebody to something, we, we want to invite them to something that we know is going to be worth their time. And I grew up Catholic, and when I was 16 years old, I had a moment in my life where I encountered God, and it changed my life. And ever since then, I've desired people to become Catholic because it's such a gift, and I want to share that gift with them. So I think it's when we're inviting our friends, our family, our neighbors to come and, and encounter the Catholic Church, we're asking them to come encounter this gift that we have come to receive, and we want to share that with them. And I, I think it's one of the, the most important things that we can do as a Christian is invite other people into the Christian life. And the RCA process is an amazing way to do that. So, what I love about St. Joe's, I think one of the most attractive elements to a faithful Catholic, faithful Christian is joy. You know, we want to be around joy-filled people. We don't yeah. want to be around Debbie Downers, right? And I see and experience so many joy-filled people uh, around our parish, and I love that. I absolutely love it. And oh, my gosh. If, if we don't have the joy, if we don't have that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, where? Down in my heart. Have you ever heard that song? It's absolutely ridiculous, but I really enjoy singing. <laughs> I was going to say, where's the tune five? you got to put some melody yeah, yeah, in there. Joy, 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 joy. There we go. Oh, there we go. Where down in my heart? Where down? Anyway, the next episode could contain the whole. Oh, we'll get out song. the guitar. Yeah. We'll rock and oh roll. Oh boy! So, well, my friends, it is time for us to get going. But what about the oh, family fair? We got a family There's fair. There's actually two more things. We got a family, we got a family fair. fair, and we've got an event coming up on the 28th too. Oh, good Shh. lord! Tell them about the 28th. Okay, I'll take 28th. So 28th, we've got an event. Speaking of joy. I've been getting to meet so many young families, young parents, young adults in our parish. It's incredible. And there's an event coming up for young adults ages 21 to 39 on September 28th out at Beer Barrel Pizza and Grill mm. from 7 to 9 p.m. And Father Eric's going to be speaking at that event. And it's going to be a time for us to get together, have community, uh, grow in a community with young adults. Uh, listen to an okay speaker, uh, talk a little yeah, bit. That's what it is. And uh, but from there, really launch into everything else that we've been planning for young adult ministry. The mm, team right so now has been planning on. so much. Mm, so we're so. gonna launch and kind of share that on that night. So if you're a young adult, save that date, Ooh. the 28th, 7th, 9th. And I hope you're gonna bring your kids to the family fair this Sunday. Heck this yeah. Sunday, September 19th. Heck yeah. Wow. 
it is such a fun event. Even if you don't have a family, it's just fun. Come get some food, you know, walk around, meet the sisters. Yeah, the nuns the there. The Mercedarian Sisters of the Blessed well. Sacrament, they're going to be there. I was talking to Mother the other day. She said they're all excited, That's ready, awesome. uh, all that type of stuff. So anyway, so much more to talk about. We have next week to do that as well. Yeah. So anyway, but thanks for joining us on this week's episode of the Holy Post. And may Almighty God bless you all and keep you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a great week. See ya.